Hey guys and gals, today we're going to be doing lesson 3.10, or I should say 3 and 10 hundredths, right? On tenths and hundredths. So in this lesson, um, we're just continuing what we did with the last lesson and kind of adding on to that, getting some more practice. So we're still going to use our friend here, Mr. Flat, but you're going to be using your rods, which would be these, and your singles, or some people just call them cubes, um, to kind of take them and cover up sections of your 100 grid to kind of work through that and look at what number do I have represented, how do I write that as a decimal, which one is greater than or less than. So that's what we're going to be doing with this lesson. So it's basically just a continuation of our last lesson, adding some more features. So let's say that I have my 100 grid and I have covered it with three of my rods. Who can tell me what decimal that would be? If I had three rods, so that means that I would have this row covered, this row covered, and this row covered. What fraction would that be and what decimal would that be? Hopefully you said 30, not three, one hundredths, and we would write that as zero and thirty hundredths. So what if I said, what's the difference between thirty hundredths and three tenths? Because some of you might be tempted, since we use three rods, and those are tenths, to say that that is three tenths. So if we look at this, how would we figure that out? If I have three tenths versus 30 hundredths. Actually, those are equal. They are equivalent. Did anybody figure that out? Good job if you did. So let's take a look at another example. Let's say that I wanted you to shade in 45 of those squares. And we could do a couple different ways. We could take 45 of these little squares and we could place them on our grid until we got to 45, right? So we would fill that up until we got to 45. We would turn around and we would write our fraction as 45 hundredths. But is there a quicker way to do that than using our little cube friend over here? Could we do that a little bit faster? Hopefully you're thinking, well, yes, Mrs. Diem, I can use my tens rods and I could basically use four of those and then I would bring my ones over here and use five of those. So that would give me the same answer. I would cover the same amount of space on my flat. So I want you to think about that when you come to class because you're going to be using some of those strategies to help you answer some of the questions. And again, we're just doing more practice with decimals. Exciting stuff. So what are we going to do when you come to class? Well, we are going to continue to model tenths and hundredths with those base 10 blocks. And we are going to use decimal notation for fractions with denominators 10 or 100. Great job, guys. Can't wait to see you.